Hello, my fellow spuds, and welcome to another episode of RimWorld. I need to figure out where we're going to set up a major settlement. I think somewhere in the middle of the map. So maybe actually in the forest itself. Like, here looks good. Actually, it's perfect. It's on the main road. We might set up, like, a little basic outpost here where we can have, like, maybe a little shack and maybe a little farm. Somewhere where we can respite, heal up, we can store some of our loot. Maybe our little children can be there. Maybe we can have a little restaurant or hotel where guests can come and stay. That would be quite nice. But I think there is a nice little place that we could have. It's nearby the people of Trado. It's in the forest. It's not polluted at all. And then we can kind of venture out from there and we can always go back there if needed. I think that's quite a nice little area. Yeah, we are on Basilius Bestower. I've got it on custom. We are actually on Strive to Survive, but I've uh, I've set a few different things. We might up that uh, a bit later, but for the time being, I've got it on so we can just have like Baby Joy's healthy and blah, blah, blah. But this means that we have a higher chance of uh, certain characters being magical. I've set that very, very low. I think it's actually on like 0.5% or 1%. It's very low. So we should hopefully come across some magical people in the future, just naturally, like we did with Green. But I think it's still going to be fairly rare. Magic is not that common here so i think it's meant to be a rarity not the norm so if we come across another magical character we're really going to want to jump on them so that we can actually utilize them i don't really want green to be our only magical character so we will uh, see how it goes i want her specialized in a couple of little areas maybe combat wise and we'll get someone else maybe to be a healer someone else to be something else i think that'd be good but for now brianna's just gonna mine everything up and then we are going to set oof a large field of mulberry trees was just <laughs> appeared out of nowhere um right none of them are oh they are harvestable oh that's some nice food uh brent you get on that then so what do we get from that oh no hang on mold do we don't eat mulberries do we oh no we can eat them but we got silkworms small wormy critters that produce silk from their cocoons that can be harvested to create fine silks they look like they're worth a lot of money i mean five each is not bad uh we might just need to harvest them and then sell them at the next settlement Right, I think we're now done. We've harvested all them. We've harvested all them. Good. You're just going to feed that to Mivnove. Fine. You're grabbing potatoes from olives. Ooh, just got two chests here. A large common loot chest. A true chest of luck. Open it. You may get something awesome or many useful items or both. Exalted Medicine and Arcanium. Well, I think we are low on Exalted Medicine anyway, so that's not too shabby. Uh, Pandora's Box. I'm tempted. What are we going to get? Oh, a raid. Wonderful. One hit. Really? That wasn't even that good a shot. Oh, okay. Whatever. <laughs> Let's push on. Right, how's the education doing of Missy? Missy is nearly tier three. Uh, oh, she's still not great, though, is she? She's still not great. I'm tempted to leave them for the time being. I wanted her at least to be tier four. I'm telling you what, what we could do is we could go back to here, back to Kent, and to the Mothids up here. We could do some quests for them, and then we can come back and grab them. Maybe we'll get a balloon set up, and we can uh, ferry them across. That might be the best idea. I just don't really want to leave them just all alone, but we could take a couple more people with us. We could maybe drop off Mivanove, uh, keep Brianna with us, and maybe then pick up a couple of others. That might be the best thing for us to do. Right, okay, so what items do we have that we can take? Take the honey, uh, the Ozone Queen, that, that. Sure, let's take that. And then what we could do is we could add Mivanovi. Who are we going to take then? Let's take Lats. Oh, we could take King. Take King with us. Okay, now we've got a decent little party with us. Let's sort out our gear. So King's already got that, but you could do with uh, some actual clothing we're gonna need to get you some clothes you do not have much give items we'll give the stuff that we don't really want on us right now then so i guess we'll leave a couple of them uh we'll leave the telescope we don't need that right now and the the tomb and our little timber packed casting master i've got no idea what that's about but it seems interesting and i reckon the rest can come with us just about to be morning and i think let's go trade with 
Kent. What I will do, though, quickly is abandon this because we don't want anything else happening on that settlement there. And what we'll do is we'll set up a base, uh, one, two, three, four, five, like here. That'll do. We'll set up a little outpost there and then we can push on. I don't know why Brent's portrait has gone. That's a little bit concerning. Is that because of the helmet? I've got no idea. Whatever the case, we'll trade with them so we can find. Brent's just gone invisible, I guess. <laughs> I've got no idea. Yeah, we want to trade all these silkworms, please. Thank you. Uh, you've given us barely any for that. Fine. What else can we trade? Let's just trade everything we don't need. So all these emeralds and rubies and citrine and stuff. Uh, so nothing else you can really give us. Even food-wise, is not really much. Um, fine. Well, you can at least give us your money, I guess. And we can go then trade more with the mots. Ooh, a Magical Academy cloth jacket. That seems good. Some patchwork gloves. Yeah, sure. Yeah, I think that, that'll do. There we go, King. You've got yourself a few different bits, and Brent can have some gloves back. Cool. Let's go see the mots then. No, visit Kent first. Let's ask for a quest. No, no quest for us, unfortunately. Yeah, just keep going. We can't exactly help in the fields or forage or anything. We could do some mining. No, let's just, let's just go to the mots. Let's go trade with the mots. And then I think we might just go on a little exploration with these four as our main party. Uh, we can leave the rest here to train everyone else up. I think that'll work out quite well. Maybe what we'll do while we're here is set up like a little temporary base here so that we can then go get the rest and then we can build it ourselves when we're all together. I think that's probably a good idea. Oh, this is a weird map. Okay, uh, well, we can camp on a little island. Uh, what do we have on this map? We've got another Pandora's box. Oh, these boxes are everywhere. I would prefer it if these uh, loot boxes did not spawn on the random maps like this, but there doesn't seem to be a way to disable it. There's gold and coal and lots of citrine. Uh, salt, okay, <laughs> okay, not that much citrine. <laughs> And I guess we will maybe get some hunting done. That might be quite good. And, oh, no. Oh, that was when we sold it ages ago. I reduced by two. That's not too bad. Okay, that's fine. Right, we'll set that up. We will butcher some animals. There we go. We could butcher the buck that I've been holding on to for a little while. We don't really need it. And I feel like it's just using up our food. I'm sorry, buck one. But I think uh, your time's up, I'm afraid. I'm sorry, buck one. But it is a necessity. Let's get to butchering. Brent, what are you doing? Stargazing. No, you're not. <laughs> get to building a campfire. The sooner we get this done, the sooner we can all go to bed. Right, that's 101 meat. That's actually pretty damn good. And we got a nice deer hide from that. Some bones, some fat. Good. Let's get on the cooking. Rihanna, how is your... You're actually 41% of the way to going to orc. Oh, and Lats, you look amazing with those insect wings. <laughs> I completely forgot you had them. Right, and that looks pretty good. I think it's time for us to set off then. We've got 42 citrine, deer hide. We've got 264 gold. That's pretty damn good, really. Lats can go on her own. We'll give her some simple meals to keep her going and a cloth tent. Okay, I'll get you to do some hunting for mufflo, oxen, and wolves. There you go. Boom. And go frenzy. Oh, good. She'll move fast for the next eight days. Well, that might be useful if you're going hunting. You lot, can you go trade with them? How long is it going to take you? Are you actually going to get there in time? If they don't get there in time, we can probably set up camp somewhere and we can explore a little bit more of the toxic forest because I do love this biome. It's awesome. We only experienced it a little bit last episode, but I would like to uh, show it off a little bit more, especially a proper sized map would be amazing. But it does look like we're going to make it to the settlement, which is good. I'm really hoping we'll be able to get some face masks or something to help us protect us from this pollution because our people are going to start struggling, I think. Yeah, I don't think we're going to do particularly well. I mean, King should be fine, shouldn't he, as a waster? Yeah, you're going to be fine. So we do need to get a few masks. And probably one for lats as well wouldn't hurt. Let's see what they've got. So, 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 uh, we need to get rid of some of our citrine and things. We get rid of some of the gold. That's nice. And the bones. Coolio. Right. So that's a decent amount of money. Now, do you have anything that can help protect us? Tech surprisingly well against pollution. A, eh, brilliant. Right. We can get two. We don't have any more ox tech bulls, unfortunately. We will buy some pemmican from you all of the pemmican <laughs> that goes all the gold just goes straight towards pemmican except that we will trade out some of the gear so that we have some protection against pollution then i guess we'll ask for a quest while asking around a tavern for a quest you get into a fight with some drunken citizens you fail to find a quest and were damaged in the process oh are you okay you've got some bruises the animals even got into the fight i mean olive's got a scratch on her oh god what we might do is try and set up a hang on stop 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 
Can you actually trade trade with them again? Do you have any steel? You do have some steel. We'll get 100 just to play it safe. I don't think it's actually as much as that. Now go over here. And what we can do is we can set up some balloons. And that'll be good. We can explore the map a lot quicker. And it'll just make life a lot easier. We could set up some carriages and things, like I said. But they don't work very well on roads. And also they require hay to function. That might be good if we like do set up camp. We want to go trade with some of the nearby people. But until that point when we can grow hay, we're going to struggle with that. So I think a balloon is probably the best way forward. Activity outcome. Successful. We got 230 raw meat. That's actually pretty damn good. So let's merge you together. Let's out camp. Okay, we do have a little bit of toxic environment here. I think we're going to want to stay well away from that. Let's set up a little hitching spot here. We will get the tents down. There you go. Right, you get onto that. We'll get them hitched. Uh, we also need to get a wooden campfire. So someone chop down a couple of trees. That'd be good. We can cook up some more of that meat, which will be ideal. Uh, there is a bit of a fire going around, but I'm sure we'll be fine. And it looks like a small common chest has washed up on the shore. So you know what? Rihanna, do you want to go open that? We'll see what's in it. Ba -do 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 -do. Ba -do. Is wild and hand freezing talons. Uh, metabolic efficiency minus two. Okay, we get some interesting ears. Fine. And we get freezing talons. Super cool adrenaline provides hypothermic damage when attacking. That's pretty damn cool. Fine. Oh, we had another one. Deep green and palm tail. Um, we might just take these with us then. So, you know what? Uh, Brianna, come back. And let's load these onto the caravan, please. <gasps> balloon! I'm just going to leave it as balloon. We can have up to two people. So we do need a second balloon. Oh, we're 13 cloth short. We could deconstruct a tent. I did notice that King has a spare one on him. Okay, hopefully we get 13 and that'll enable us to hopefully make another balloon. Yeah, that's plenty. Cool. Right, we need some more wood. So, Lats, you were right about deforesting. Keep deforesting. So, as long as the uh, Raging Inferno doesn't envelop us, I think we're going to set off in the morning in our nice new shiny balloons. I just realized we can't. We can't take the, the bugs with us. Oh no, I made a horrible mistake. Stop, stop, stop. Obviously the animals can't come with us, can they? Right, I guess then we'll get a couple of people to go off on their own little adventure and the, the other two can go with the caravan. Brianna talked about playing dice with King. King says something about horseshoes, Brianna. This is nice, they're all getting along. Oh, <laughs> Lats is trying to desperately beat the fire out. Brianna joked about getting drunk with King. Are you two flirting? Should I be concerned? Guess then what we'll do is we'll get Brianna and King. They seem to be getting along, so I think they'll stay together. Annual Expo. It's time for the 212th Annual Mammy Planet Expedition. And your faction has been invited. This year's host is Malspenheim, and the theme is exchanging scientific discoveries. Exciting. It's a peaceful gathering. It's historically been used by almost all factions, an opportunity to exchange cultural experiences and to show off. Or maybe Brent and Lax can go there first. That seems like a fairly nice idea. Brent, then, where are you? You uninstall these next. Um, I would like to convert a couple of these people over to our ideology if we can. I never did do the uh, ideology stuff, did I? Uh, let's do a role change. We need to get Lats back on Divine Traveler, so that'll be nice. Just as the <laughs> infernal rages around us. Advent of Life? I think that's fine. Let's do Advent of Life. Lats and Brent joked about training pelicans. <laughs> Here we go. Ah, what unforgettable Advent of Life. We discovered a location ancient complex and got a transport balloon crashing. Right, he's our old outpost. An Ifrit. Right, he's from the Magical Academy. Is he actually any good? He's got 18 melee. What? <laughs> Pretty good. I mean, you are another Ifrit, so you are 66. Oh, you are frail. Oh, I can't say no to these people. I think we're just going to have to set up another outpost somewhere and just drop these people off. I reckon that's load cargo. We'll load them, we'll load them, and that will do. And then we will load Lats and Brent on. Go rescue Lenovo. I guess what we could do is then get, like, Brent to carry Lenovo over to Toga. Get Lats, maybe, to go over to the Expo? It's about intelligence, isn't it? So we need someone who's actually intelligent to go with us, which none of us are. <laughs> We're none of our colonists are intelligent at all. Load pawns, then. Lats and Brent. Go on. Right, and that's launch to here. We will set down just here. Can watch the balloon slowly take off. Lovely stuff. And I guess then, how much meat do we have left? Oh, barely any. Oh, good. Right. If you lot then want to reform caravan, I guess we'll make our slow journey over to there. 
Uh, we'll take what we can food-wise, we'll take the tents, we'll take everything that we've dropped, basically, and yeah, you, you can just make the slow journey over. And hopefully we'll be able to find someone who's clever enough to go to the annual expo to actually, uh, yeah, show off our faction a little bit. Right, apparently our balloon has arrived at their destination. There it is! Right, I should probably get some more wood cut down, because I think already we've run out of wood as fuel. Uh, Lat, let's get you then, form a caravan, we'll go over to there, yeah, with you and you, I'm sure you'll be fine. It's only going to take a little while, so you can go. Brent, you start cutting down some trees, refuel this balloon, and then we can set off. Right, Brent is ready to go. So let's go meet them at Trodo. Who is our most intelligent character? Arrhenio is pretty damn good. Right, I think it's going to be Arrhenio, so we're going to have to pick him up as well. And then I think what we're going to do is we're going to go to this ancient outpost, and then we'll be hunky-dory. Right, you know what? We might as well add... Uh, Lat for the time being anyway. I reckon we'll pick up Lats on the way back. That's fine. I don't know why this is flashing. Missy is Grow Tier 5. Excellent stuff. Actually, you're doing really, really well. Moreno, are you nearly done? Moreno should be nearly up, surely. Eight days left, and then you'll be up. Hey, brilliant. We've got so many people with Paralytic Abrasia, but once these people are actually up and uh, able to move about and stuff, we will have the makings of a decent little town setup, which is very nice. Good. We've got Arrhenia, we've got Brent. Let's launch and let's go to this expo. Fly upside down, balloon, fly. <laughs> Such a majestic way to travel. Visit Annual Expo. Your camera has arrived at the Annual Expedition. As this year's theme is exchanging scientific discoveries, there are many experts on that topic here. Most of them are preparing, while others have already started showing off their skills. The expo is hodgepodge of stalls, some modest, and made of locally sourced materials, while others are high-tech prefabs from herb worlds. They form a circle around the main stage where a doctor stands to the left of the main scene. Surely it will be useful for something more later on. Settling in easily, a powerful orator and a great scholar explains you know nothing about the complexities of the universe. Instead, they reveal its simplicities. You learn about overclocking, getting more performance by tweaking the millivoltage... What? <laughs> the psychic emanators now has an increased range and effect at the cost of increased power consumption and longevity. Since you didn't have one, they gave you a psychic emanator. Uh, and we gained 4,000 experience. Okay, I think these are completely pointless. We need power. We don't have power. <laughs> I didn't realize it gave you them. Okay, uh, that's fine. They've given us some strange artifact that we can uh, trade with. Good. Uh, try and trade away this psychic emanator. And then we will go land at the ancient outpost and uh, yeah, we can see what we can find there. I'm quite liking this balloon travel, actually. It's quite nice. It makes it a little bit easier, a little bit uh, less micromanaging to do, which is nice. We've still got King's Caravan up there. I mean, they aren't worth a lot of money. I do need to watch out. Why do we have a throwing chunk? Get rid of that. It's 20 kilos. Yeah, that makes you go a little bit quicker. Um, so we do need to watch out a little bit because of how valuable our caravan is. But I think we'll be okay. Okay, right. Well, let's refuel. And then you can launch. And we can go swap out Aranio for Lats. And then we'll set off. Right, okay. Lats has arrived. Let's board the balloon as a passenger. Let's get out of here. Okay, there we go. Right, we're here. Good. Right, saddle up, squad. Time for a fight. What are we going to find? Got a load of ancient generators. We've got ancient beacon, ancient loot chest. Investigate drop supplies. Lats, you go open the ancient chest. Oh, there's an oh no, there's a barrel. Uh, ancient weapon rack. Long deteriorated, that's fine. Uh, what do you get? Step away. A tail pointed metamorphosis potion. We get a pointed tail. Increases manipulation slightly. Okay, just uh, can you pick that up? A supplies will drop nearby. Good, right. You lot. Go in there quickly before it explodes. That would be an amazing sight, wouldn't it? Just 91 cod appearing from nowhere. How are we going to do this? Brent, deconstruct that. Lats, you come round to here. Oh, that goes outside anyway. Fine, so that's now unroofed. So that should be okay. Yeah, stop that. Stop that. Stop that. Fight fight the fire. Fight the fire. <laughs> right, Lats, open the chest. What do we get from it? Silver. Okay, I'll take it. Sil silver's good. Fine, well, um, wasn't the best ancient complex I've ever found, but it wasn't a bad one. Okay, right, load our pawns up, and let's get the hell out of here. I think we're going to start our epic journey over to the Dark Forest to finally start setting up a little empire of our own, because so far we haven't actually found evidence so far of any of Ulu's relics. We haven't really done much ideology. We haven't done any conversions or anything like that. And we haven't really spread the word. We've done some exploration. We've done some quests for people. But I think that we need to kind of set up camp a little bit so we've got somewhere to spread out from. Somewhere where we can uh, go and see if we can find these relics and start the process of 
really getting stuck in, uh, spreading the word of Ulu and going from there. Right, it's been a few in-game days since Brent visited the abandoned settlement. Since then, Len and Brent have met up with Brianna and King, and they are currently in a little campsite just up here. Now, since we left off, I did spend a little bit of time off camera uh, tweaking some things in the background. But I did add a few extra mods, uh, specifically for travel, so we can see that we now have a new vehicle, the trade car. It requires two people to carry this huge car, so it means we're going to have to have two people per caravan, but it carries a stupid amount of loot, which I think is going to be really good going forward because realistically I could have like the covered carriage or the chariot and things, but they require hay. And this is kind of like a massive upgrade from the wheelbarrow because the wheelbarrow only requires one person to push it. This requires two. So that's kind of like the idea. I did also add a flying vessel, uh, which is kind of an upgrade to the balloon, but we're going to need to research that and that's going to take a little while before we can actually get it. But we have that on the cards as well. The other thing is I tweaked the education once again, so it should be a little bit more balanced. The only thing is that our characters are already at tier growth eight. So, uh, so that's great. I think especially for Missy, it was kind of needed because we had to go through the whole BS of kind of converting, recruiting, blah, blah, blah. And that took forever. And she missed out all her education because of that. So I think that kind of makes up for it. Well, they probably will not get to grow to eight again. So I think that's probably for the best. Now, if we go into our needs, I think Moreno should be up 17 hours Minanove is in 19 days so we've got still a lot of characters who are out for the count but it is probably time that we start setting up a few different settlements so one for farming maybe one for mining maybe a little town and I think this general area looks like a fairly good one we are near the roller nation we're near the refugee empire we're near the people of Trado and we are also near the Red Nat Bruno. So I think that's probably a really good place to be. We're also kind of a spitting distance of Erontido. And I think that's it's quite a nice central location to also be. So I think we will probably settle down. I think maybe around this general location. So maybe we'll have a settlement right here, just at the end of this road. That makes sense. And maybe we'll just branch out into this central location. I think that'd be quite nice. We are going to make our way with these four over to here. We're gonna trade with some of the uh, Red Nat Bruno, try and get relations up a bit, and we will eventually, hopefully, get to here where we will start setting up some permanent camps, which will be lovely. Now, we need to also start packing these guys up because we definitely need to get all these guys over to somewhere where we can start setting up our settlements. And I could leave this here, I'm tempted, but at the same time, I don't think it's really needed. So we might as well just pack everyone up and go. Ah, okay, yeah, we need to leave one person behind. Maybe Brent, and then Brent can go pick up Missy. I think that might be good, because then we can actually have three people in our caravan who is part of the traveler's way. I think that's probably the best thing to do. Brent, I'm going to get you to harvest a few more berry bushes. Uh, not that many by that many there we go you harvest them and then that will give you enough food hopefully that you can crack on and then you can then fly out of here and go pick up missy hopefully that'll be good you guys then i want you to go and well we're going to go to here first then we're going to split the caravan up king will keep the animals the other two lats and brianna will go in and see what we can find right we're all together again excellent uh you guys then you can settle there we don't have that much in terms of sleeping arrangements but i'm sure we can figure something out uh we're gonna need to make a little log cabin i guess for all our peoples i know that will do for the time being get a little rustic door on here that'd be good we just need something that we can store all our stuff in which honestly isn't that much and we can put our people down in and then we'll be fine and can you actually rescue them? That'd be nice. Arrhenio, no. Okay, Lord, me Lord. Yeah, you're rescuing them. Good, that's fine. Oh, Missy's on fire. Missy, why are you on fire? What happened? Your left ear burnt off. You got struck by lightning. Okay, can you go lie down? Oh, we need to replace your ear now. What are the chances you'll be struck by lightning? <laughs> For God's sake. What we might do is get King... So let's just create an outpost. You're going to create a... Which we haven't really done before. I've got too many things on the go. You are going to set up a little encampment. Right, so we've got Lats and Brianna. They do not have, a, they don't have any animals on them. So let's have a look and see, make sure what their stats are. You're good at mining and Lats is not great at much else. Okay, well, let's ask for a request first. 
Raider Outpost. <gasps> Arcane Shard. That's like a Psylink. That would be amazing. One Tribesman. Yeah, that'd be great. Where is it? There. I reckon we can do that. One one enemy. I reckon these two can do that. Uh, that's offer help now, though. I mean, that's going to take a day, but I have tweeted, so this is going to take three days, and this is going to take seven, just because this generates a lot of money, and there is actually no risk. It seems to be a bug with the mod. So I've tweaked it so it's a little bit easier. The problem is that we need to have the food available before we actually start. So I think maybe we'll do some mining. We'll do some of the mine resource on the surface. We do something, um, yeah, a little bit different because we haven't actually been able to do it before because we've always had animals on our party. But now we've got that. That is great. So what's happening with you? Ah, you did kill that turtle. Excellent. Right. Um, let's get that uh, butchered up, please. Yep, yeah, butcher. Izel, can you just butcher, please? That'd be great. Barati, you okay? Can you consume that raw meat? There we go. Uh, want human meat. Eight non-cannibal food. Yeah, you... Okay. Is that because of that, though? I think it is just because of that. So once we convert you, you'll be fine. Force trait cannibal. But I don't think that means that you have to eat it. It just means you can. Okay, so we just need to get rid of that and we're fine. So we need to convert you. We also need to, yeah, imprison you, I guess, and then get you to our faction. But we'll do that as soon as we can. But that's fine. Uh, right now, we don't really have enough food for anything. I'm not sure what we're going to do. I think we're going to have to try our best to get some materials together so that we can sell them and it does look like we've got some amber here apparently which is nice and we've got some onyx okay if we mine that stuff up we can then go sell it and then at least we can get some money hopefully to get some food and uh, we can then push on we got lots of people i guess we could try and mine some iron up there's a lot of iron oh god uh, crop sprout tox potatoes that's really the wrong thing that we would want and we've got a raid actually of quite a few people uh oh god um what are we gonna do lord be lord Arenio, you've got stuff uh you've got stuff get that out please missy i think we're gonna need your help as well i'm afraid what does this do enhances psychic sensitivity and neural heat dissipation granting the world a massive boost in psychic power okay it's still gonna go well over your heat capacity okay that's fine i don't know how you still you've got a beer you had a beer this whole time and i Oh, okay. I don't think you're meant to be able to use that beer, but I'm going to get you to use it on them. Okay, uh, we've got Missy, Psychic Shock, Oksana, start shooting, Arrhenio, Lord be Lord, get in front of Missy. They're beginning their assault. Of course they are. Um, okay, Barati. I was going to say help Izel, but I think she's got it. Right, you're already at uh, Dangerous Heat. Right, take on that one. Irenio, get involved. What are you doing? There we go. All right, the flame, the flame, the flame. Okay. Oh, and <laughs> and Brent's just arrived in his hot air balloon. Wonderful. Uh, you've got some dark wood. I'm hoping we can use dark wood to refuel the balloon. We can't refuel with that. Okay. We're gonna have to get Brent then to go to here to chop down some trees to refuel. Azel, are you going to be okay? Lord, we, no, Lord, we don't tend to, tend to Azel. Word of trust. So I guess we, if we did imprison Barati, at least we would be able to get them to our side very, very quickly. And Azel, drop that beer, please. Give him the beer. You're going to administer the beer. Good. All right, he should actually be able to get up now. We're mining 20, basically 21, if it was possible. He's up. <gasps> Gary Moreno. Finally, after all this time, the slob neurotic miner. Oh, look at you. You're you're a beast. You're going to be able to, like, mine everything in all these settlements. It's going to be amazing. Tell you what, let's turn this into a prisoners. Can someone arrest 96% for Barati? No, arrest her. Arrest her. Come back. Yes, brilliant. Okay, then, Missy, I need you to do word of trust. Barati is asleep. Uh, why? Why are you asleep? Okay, as soon as she's up, we'll do word of trust and then we'll set off because we have no food. Mm. Missy, no, you... F oh, everyone's on malnutrition. Uh, stop. Right, stop, stop, stop. The, okay, the food... The food's already gone. Izel, did you eat the honey? Uh, okay. All right, everything, everything's falling apart. No, 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 no. No. Why? You have no gear. You've got bread. We're saved. 
It's going to be the battle of the ages. Us versus Choke the Half Jotun. <laughs> oh, God, she's fast. She's very... She's a slow runner, but she's, she's moving quite quickly. Uh, Azel, I'm not sure about you wearing that mask either. Okay, you're fine. 22 hours. Yeah, the problem is that she she must hit pretty hard. I I think uh, Azel's hitting harder, though. Irania, do you want to help out? Lord, Lord, do you also... Oh, she's down. She's dead. No. Put the bread down. No. <laughs> you were trying to consume 11 bread. No, you... Tell you what, you, you... You can consume her. There you go. There's plenty of food for you. Right. Oh, activity outcome. We got 86 or a calcum. Amazing. Okay, that gives us 400. We need some food. Why does that put us over income? I don't understand. Let's have a look at it gear. Are we just over income because of gear? The heaviest thing is probably going to be these steel trousers. So you know what? Let's trade the steel trousers. Yeah, there we go. That's fine. That has actually given us something. That's good. Uh, you can have that instead of the silver conversion stuff. Thank you very much. And you two, congratulations for your achievements. You're going to go take on the ogre. Brent, how are you doing? Oh, board the balloon as operator. Berserk Oxana. Why? You killed an innocent horse claw. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> Launch. We're going to go land and do something. Who's this hunting party? Who are you fighting? You're melee attacking because it is... No, don't melee attack Azel. Oh, don't melee attack anyone. Oxana, four hours. Don't... Izel, she was good. Why would you do that? <laughs> Fine. Okay, get a grave. Izel, you're you're digging it though. Did you bite her head off? Izel talks on his neck to shreds. Jesus, Izel. Hey, right. Brent's on his way. He's gonna fix everything. Well, at least Oxana's been buried. That's um something, I guess. But still, Jesus, this is a disaster. Missy's no longer wandering in sadness. She's resting, but can you can you still do that? You can. Go, 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 go. Badu, resistance zero. Right, recruit, recruit, recruit. Go. Uh, we we can we can sort out conversion later. Just recruit her. Talk to Varati about mercy. Encourage Varati to talk about things. <laughs> just go. And boom, we're done. Brent's here. Brent's arrived. Where is he? Where are you, Brent? We need you desperately. Everyone's dying. Well, actually, Missy's the one who's starving. Everyone else seems to be absolutely fine. Here he comes. There we go. Right, Brent, get back in that balloon. Missy, get in it as a passenger. Come on, we're heading off. Refuel? Do we have anything we can just leave behind for them? Leave behind the silver and the emeralds, I guess. Launch. Trade with them quickly. Now, all of you, before you all break down, you're going to form a caravan over to there. Point four days. Everything. Everything is coming with us. Apart from the marble trunks, obviously. And the the corpses. We don't need the corpses. I'm sorry, Oksana, we're leaving your body behind. You helped our children and didn't do much else, and I never got to rename you. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm really sorry. Right, and Lats and Brianna are just about to arrive at the ogre camp. Ah, oh, this is uh, going to be interesting. We can actually get someone else to be uh, a, a mage after this, though, which is nuts. Need to take out that one ogre. There he is. Got a conversion staff. I think we're going to be okay against him. Poop Molo. Amazing. Um, they are pretty strong. He's got an extreme carcinoma growing in his right humerus. Right, I'm hoping there's some food in here as well. Uh, there might be something in those gibbet cages. Want right? Get over here. Oh, here he comes. Okay. Uh, run back, run back, run back. Lats, why aren't you running gun as well? What are you doing? Because if we if we manage to get into melee range, he is gonna screw us over. Six hours. All right, get back. Uh, he's trying to convert us. Run, 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 run. Uh, there. Who? Payment has arrived. Um, split up. Uh, Lorby Lord, you can just go off on your own. Uh, where's Lorby Lord? Lorby Lord, go back in there. I need you to pick that up. Good job, everyone. Right, you two. You're going to go in here, see what we've got. Right, what have we got? Oh, another gibbet cage. We've got a large bird skin, a huge hide. Okay, we can sell these. these isn't, this isn't bad. Mm, so we've got a tiny amount of ambrosia, and that's it. That's not too bad. 
go back to King. We'll continue on our merry way over to here to set up a settlement. Brent is just arriving at the settlement. Good. Um, we've got nothing really to sell or buy, but you can at least refuel. We could sell a little bit of wood to get uh, some <laughs> some tomato omelets and a handful of onions. There we go. That's uh, 0.8 days. That'll do. Uh, you then can fly to there. Trade with them. Go. Right, Lord, Lord, where's our stuff? Oh, arcane shard, some gold, arcanium. Brilliant. Right, form caravan, get there, get out of there ASAP. Get that arcanium shard, get the gold, get the arcanium. You're good. Right, and Lord, Lord is on his way. Excellent. Right, guys, on that note, I'm going to call it a day. So I was hoping we'd be able to set up a settlement this episode, but it's going to, it looks like it's going to be next episode now. So I'm going to have to get this main party to travel across. It's going to take a while, so the main group probably won't get there for a few episodes. But hopefully Brent and Missy, as well as King, Brianna and Lats, will be able to set up a settlement, hopefully next episode. So, thank you so much for watching. If you liked what was in, please leave a like and subscribe. A massive thank you to all my Patreon and YouTube members. Clint, David, Len, Belise, Lord, Lord, T. Chaos, Tallman, Natural Cheese, Mikey Soundtrack, King of Thorns, Skylar Burchell, Charles, Mint Salad, Lax, Brian, Lloyd, Heretic, and Codry Pierce. You guys are amazing. Thank you, thank you so, 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 so much for all your support. It means a lot to me, so thank you so, so much. And I will see you next episode. Bye-bye.